Hello everybody again. Hello, hello, welcome. My name's Michelle. Welcome back. I have some more fun little things I want to share. Now these are pins that I have been collecting for quite a while. It's also one out of many um, pin makers that I enjoy buying pins off of. Their specialty in pins, you guys, wait till you see this. Oh my goodness. Is making cute little pins that have a theme. Or, for instance, that has a theme. When I show you, you will see what I mean. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to surprise you. Okay. Now, this company is called Bistro Blinks. They have a Facebook account. That I will leak in the description and put it in there and y'all head out over there and check them out. Now the only way to get their pins is two ways. One, they have exclusive ones that they have on their Facebook where you can have a chance on Tuesday and Wednesday they bring out their exclusive pins and you have a chance to possibly buy one of them and how this works is on Tuesday and Wednesday they show their exclusive pins new pins every week and you put in the comment section pick me now on Thursday they will do a drawing and then let you guys know in the comment section who won the pin it's awesome now, if you win the drawing, you have the option and opportunity to own one of these awesome bands. Now, there's another way to get them. If you want ones that are made in a specific way or you have a specific theme or you want it a certain way, you can go to their Etsy shop, which I will also put in the link, and you can go and order them. Uh -um. <clears throat> Once they get a certain amount of orders, they'll let you know on Facebook that they're not taking any orders at this time until they've completed the ones that they have, which is very nice. But they still always have those options Tuesday and Wednesday to get exclusive pins. Now, oh, fun, 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 fun. Every time you win and or order, I usually do the winning because I can never figure out the ordering. I'm horrible. <laughs> okay. I'd have to have someone walk me through. Okay. They send you a nice little thank you. They put their beautiful pans in these cute little baggies. And then they send you cover binders. And anyone who has seen or know me or talked to me know that I love my pens and I love my cover binders. I have an addiction to them with diamond painting there's always an addiction to products. You may not be addicted to pens, but you might be addicted to the cover binders. I've known people who have hundreds of washi tape. Now that's a whole new ball game right there, different subject. But there are all types of products that you can buy that are custom made or uh, buy off small companies where you can implement those into your diamond painting addiction <laughs> that I have. Okay. Now, how I found out about Bistro Blinks was through Crafting with Shay. Wonderful lady, sweet lady, awesome person. She has so much information on her YouTube channel about diamond painting. And I watch a lot of her videos besides others that are on YouTube. But I just really love her personality. And she's a great person. So I will also link her Facebook channel in the link. But how I will do it is I will link the video that I saw that talked about Bistro Blinks. So that way you can refer to the video that I saw and then also be able to see all some more pins okay let's get this going first ones i ever bought are right over here so i'm going to start over here then we're going to go over here now the thank you letters are always handwritten. look at this 
handwritten people. And they put these cute little diamonds. You look at these. Look at this. Little diamonds on there. It says, Michelle, thank you so much. Welcome to the family. And a little heart. I hope you love your first bistro pins. Enjoy, Diane. Great. I love it. All right. Here it is, guys. We're going to do the first one. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Can anybody guess who this is? Let's go this way. <gasps> oh, oh, let's let's get it in there. That is Dumbledore from Harry Potter. So you have Dumbledore right there. Then you have the symbol for the train station. Nine and three fourths. And then on the back. It's got that really pretty purple color. And then Dumbledore. This one I got because of my grandson. My grandson and my daughter and I are huge, huge Harry Potter fans. So I got this one for him. Um, when I got this, they asked me, you know, this, this here I put on the, the, the metal but they put the number two one here for me for my grandson so I thought that was really nice that they did that then the second one that I was able to win on a pick me well okay the Dumbledore was something that they had that was a little extra and they asked me if I was interested in it and I said of course because I was looking for Harry Potter so that that one was offered to me they had an extra which was really nice that they reached out to me. I totally forgot. This one I got um, through a pick me. And it has beautiful little butterflies in there. Let me see if I can. Okay. There we go. Now you can see butterflies and blue little flowers. They look kind of like sunflowers, but they're blue. Oh, come on, please. Oh, so frustrating. Cameras, you spend so much money on these things and they just don't do what you want. Okay. Let's get this. There we go. Woohoo! Look at that. Look at all the little sparkles in there. Then you flip it over and it's got this beautiful blue, gray, sparkly background. I just thought that was really pretty. All right, my second set of stuff that I bought for, oh, and the little cover minders. I'm so sorry. You have the little traditional popsicle and a little ballerina lady there. And then the next thank you letter says, Michelle, we are so excited to have you with us. Thank you for supporting a small business. We hope you enjoy your butterfly summer skies. Happy painting, Laura. And, and Bristol Blanks. So here's this one. This one I got is because it is the, um, uh, oh, my brain, Zodiac that my mother um, was born under is the Capricorn. So they have the Zodiac sign here and then the astrology Capricorn. I'm sure I'm saying the wrong thing because my brain is not working right now, but Oh, you guys correct me in the comment section. <laughs> yes. So, okay, let's do this. See if it works. Yay, it worked. Oh, no, it didn't work. Okay, let's try again. Be still. Try it again. Do. Be still. Maybe it's me. Am I going to have to do... Oh my goodness, this is crazy. All right, let me see. Hang on, let me see. Um, let's see here. Let's uh, reach over here, grab that. Let's lower the light. See if that will help a little bit. There we go. There. Okay, that's a little better for you guys. Capricorn. There you go. And it's got the gold sparkles in there. And then the beautiful green on the back side with sparkles in it. 
Okay, let's put that back in there. And then the other one was these beautiful flowers with little diamond drills, pink diamond drills. I got this one too because my mother loved flowers and she loved the color pink and when I saw it I just had to have it so I got it I was lucky to win it and have the opportunity to buy this pin under one of the pick me all right my third little thank you card. Michelle, thank you. Much love. I hope you love your new pin. So fun. Enjoy. Look at that. Isn't that just a little cute that they do little diamonds? So here they put it in a little Halloween bag. And then inside they gave me some little Halloween cover minders. Isn't that just cute? Okay, little Halloween bag. Okay, here it goes. Halloween Tink. Tink, 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 tink. Look at Tink. Little Tinkerbell. She's on a little pumpkin with some little, little fall flowers down there. Isn't that just cute with stars? See that? There we go. And then on the back, beautiful kind of a dark with gray and white sparkle. So there's my Halloween pin, my Halloween pin. Let me pull these out so that way you can look at them. And the zoom in. That would be smart, wouldn't it? Okay, my last set, guys, my last set. Thank you. Michelle, welcome to our community. We are, cons we, where we consider you family, love. We are so excited to have you with us and thank you for supporting a small business. We hope you enjoy your huff and puff and rainbow wand and aromatherapy in candy striper. Or, oh, yeah, striper. <laughs> Happy paintings, Laura and Bistro. Isn't that awesome? I just love the personal touch. I, I really like that they take the time. And you know, they're so busy. And for them to take the time to write a cute little letter, it's just awesome. I, I do like that. And then they gave me a little unicorn cover minder, a little butterfly, and a little mermaid tail. Oh, and I forgot to show you that other butterfly one. Ooh, ooh, shame on me. All right, I'm being stingy with my cover minders. All right, the first pen is in wood which I did not realize that this one was wood um, until I got it and felt it and then I went back to the website and I was like oh it's wood I had done the pick me on it because I was so excited because it was the rainbow and I wanted this pen due to the colors and the meaning of it to me so I felt uh, a strong pull to get this pen no matter what and when I got it, it's so shiny, it's so smooth, you would never know it's from wood unless you're holding it and you had looked on the, you know, well, you can see the grains, but I didn't realize it was wood until after I got it in my possession. So it's, it's very nice, very nice, beautiful. Look how bright it is. I mean, it's just bright. The colors are so clear. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous pen. It's light in your hand, the right size for holding to do diamond paintings. It's just, it's awesome. I, I love this pen. I love it, you guys. It's a great pen. 
And then the next one I got was for my daughter. And this one is, um, let me, oh, there, my computer did a little glitch. Sorry there. This one is the one that she likes. She's um, Huff and Puff, and I guess it's gold and green or black. I'm not sure. I, I think this is a dark black. Um, but that's the color. And it, this is also made out of wood. And it has the Huff and Puff symbol here. It looks like a wand. It has the really pretty little drills there with the gold. And then another little symbol there. Let me, oh, sorry. Let's see. There, did it. Oh, almost had it. Almost had it. It's being difficult. Okay, let's see. Oh. Anybody have suggestions on better cameras? Please let me know. <laughs> or lighting. Maybe some of it's my lighting. I'm, I'm not sure. But I'm excited. She doesn't know about this yet. And I'm going to be giving it to her for Halloween today. Today on Halloween, guys. <laughs> so, um, I hope she likes it. So that's another one. Okay. This one here is new that I have never seen, but I've got it because, of course, the pink. The pink. This reminds me of that strawberry swirl candy. That creamy strawberry swirl candy. I cannot remember who the company is that made that strawberry cream swirl hard candy. Um, if anyone can remember, put it in the comment section and let me know. But it was a creamy strawberry candy. It was a hard candy. And it was so delicious. Well, this came in this beautiful rose gold, white single, uh, rose gold single tip. Beautiful pinks of different colors with that beautiful white. It is just gorgeous. So shiny and pretty. And then the other reason why I like this so much is it has a sunflower on it. Isn't that just cute? <gasps> I love it. I like sunflowers. I'm from Kansas, so of course. So you unscrew this little part right here. Okay. And you would put the... Let me uh, show you here. So they give you this little baggie of stuff and it has the directions on how to do this um the little little cotton flints um i guess you can take that little um sunflower off and make it into a necklace if you want to but i won't and then it has the little bottle to put your aromatherapy now, it didn't have anything in it. Now, I don't know if it was supposed to or not, but that's okay. I have a whole bunch of aromatherapy stuff, so um, oils that I can use, scented oils that I, all, I, I use all natural, so I'll just put it in there. But that's a little nice container that they give you to put that in. So what you do is you just stick this inside there, let it soak, and then you put it inside here. You, put, you push it up in there. Use tweezers, guys. That's the safest. Or wear gloves. So that way you're not getting it all over your fingers and have that smell on you. You know, you don't want to do that. So, and then you just twist it on there. And while you're diamond painting, you smell that smell every time you move it around. It's, it's great. It's great. I, I love it. You know, and ah, sniff, sniff. You know, if you have an obsession with wax that has nice little scents, here you go. Here's another obsession. All righty. And then they give you this little baggie to also go with it so that you can put, and it's a nice little baggie too. That's a nice, dirty little baggie. Um, it's got little, little pinch sides here. Look at that. What did I do with the little aroma therapy? Oh, there it is. Okay, here it is. So, and you can put all your little stuff in there. And then they come with, 
Oh goodness, my fingers are not wanting to work. Sorry. They come with a little direction kit here on how to to do it. So keep that with there. All right. So here's my dilemma, guys. I am going to have to invest on maybe a pen holder box or some kind of thing to hold my little pens in that I can pull out or look at so that way I don't have so many cluttered in one little box um, on top of each other and I can look at them and see their beautiful little pens. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions or know anywhere I can find some nice little pin box, uh, put it in the comment section and let me know. I'll go check it out. Thank you so much for coming and visiting my channel. I appreciate you watching and looking at all of these beautiful pins. Please go into the description part of the video and um, go sub to Bistro Blanks on Facebook. Also go sub to Crafting with Shay. She is the one who told me about this beautiful company, Wonderful People. She is also. So that way you can have an opportunity to also have a chance to own one of these type of exclusive pins. Then also check out their Etsy. I will put that in the link. You all have a wonderful, spooky Halloween. <laughs> God bless you. Be safe as always. Take care. Bye.